Hi. How are you? Oh, good. Good. Yeah, me too. Me too. Did you just get a text like I did? Well, fine. Answer it. But for me, I will go right to what I'd like to talk about. I've been and still am mulling how best to serve Syracuse AI solutions. The tagline on the billboard is own your AI or your AI will own you. How do you own your AI? I wasn't sure when I put the billboard up exactly what the problems, solutions were. I have a better idea now. I'm putting both of the problems and the solutions aside for a moment. I want to discuss approaches. Let's go to uh, PDF. Own your AI or your AI will own you. Sure enough. The approach to ChatGPT looks simple. You can ask it a question. You can give it some private business data. And combined, it'll give an informed answer about a business-related question. I'm calling an approach called Caddy, the secure approach, which is just the same as ChatGPT by a different method where it uses the same as ChatGPT does for processing, yet not by the consumer available user interface by a separate one. And that separate one then connects to the GPT API, the same one that ChatGPT uses. And in doing that, the security is greater. The reason for it is the company behind ChatGPT, OpenAI, they don't monitor the data that comes in for training purposes. You can. Now, the API is responding, giving a chance before going to and after going to the user interface logging. final approach that I'm calling the integrated approach and Caddy Plus it takes a document that you have, it chunks it down, does something called vectorize, which is it turns it into a number representation and then stores it and then does it repeatedly for all of the documents of your business. Once all of those documents are stored, then you ask a question. A question is also turned into a vector, and that is used for querying the database for similar chunks. And then those chunks, combined with your question, go into the chat GPT large language model and give you an informed answer. You compare the three approaches you get here where ChatGPT, Caddy, Caddy Plus, all these approaches offer saving conversations and per user usage tracking. But with a custom interface, you can create your own agent roles and then beyond that, log those conversations 
end, if you like, you can take whatever those customizations you've made to the roles are and make them available to your customer. For example, you've made an agent role of a customer service agent. Wow. So what? Well, when you do that and you augment it with all of the data of your business, the customer service agent can answer questions reliably about your business. And listen, here I am talking about these approaches. I'm not going to service ChatGPT as a matter of obstinance. On the other hand, for the other approaches of Caddy and Caddy Plus, I'd be glad to give anybody customer service. I think the own your AI or the AI will own you approach is not as important when you think about who owns the servers as I thought it would be in the beginning. It's more important that you take ownership of how your business and you individually in your life use the power, use tool. If you're not educated on it, then you can never really own anything. And in that case, you're a slave to the whims of the world. And all of those major Silicon Valley corporations would love nothing more for you, for me, and all of us in Syracuse to merely take the simple approach. I wish this education that I've gained and am sharing now give you something to think about this Labor Day weekend. Take care.